So my first question is to Mr. Sharath. If there are duplicates in your data, what do you do about it? And before you answer that, my, my other question is, why is duplicate such a big problem? Please. Uh, good evening, everyone. And uh, thank you, Nathan. Uh, I'll directly jump into the question. Um, when we deal with the data, um, we have to ensure that these duplicates are verified. And when I say duplicates, uh, we are basically talking about the samples or the observations, or in other terms, we also call them as records or rows. Different terminologies are there. So when, when you have same row or record repeating again, then it, this is basically called as a duplicate entry. Now, when we talk about any specific characteristic with respect to uh, uh, the data set, so for example, if we talk about one column, the impact of the duplicate value in each and every column is also going to impact the overall distribution of that particular value or that particular column. Right from there, you will have the issues uh, generating. When we talk about distribution, basically with respect to the characteristics of that particular column. Um, more number of duplicates, that means the data becomes more consistent and the data's distribution is becoming very less narrow. Um, it gets closer and closer to mean, you can see that. So this is one of the um, biggest problem that we will see with respect to the duplicate entries. And uh, there are Python libraries which can uh, very easily identify these duplicates and remove them. Um, one specific library which is very commonly used is uh, the uh, duplicated function, which is uh, just le letting us know that these are duplicate values. And uh, it, it returns a binary outcome saying whether a specific row is duplicated or not. And of course, we also have parameters uh, which we can pass through this particular library or, or function, which can allow us on controlling on how we detect these uh, duplicates. Now, if I want to remove these duplicates, if, if my business scenario demands me to eliminate them, then I would be using another function, which is very similar to this uh, duplicated function, which is called as drop underscore duplicates. It works exactly like the duplicated function. But in, in additional to that, um, it also removes the detected uh, rows or samples. So that's that's basically how we uh, handle the duplicate uh, data method. Thank you. Thank you, Sharad, for that uh, comprehensive answer. Barney, I would like you to add further, uh, specifically <laughs> specifically to why duplicate is a problem. What we do with it, I think we are very clear. A little more on why duplicate is a problem. Can you please elaborate? Sure, absolutely, Nathan. So when it comes to duplicates, handling duplicates in a data set, there are two things. One is duplicates with respect to the rows, and uh, duplicates with respect to the columns. Duplicates with respect to the rows or columns would just increase the data set. But the kind of information that you can glean from the data would still remain the same. For example, say we have a row which says person will default. That's one value. And then the other values pertaining to that specific row is say age 32, gender male, education graduate. If I have another column, sorry, another row, which is exactly the same, person will default, age 32, gender male, education graduate, then our model has already learned that specific information. If it is getting going to be repeated multiple times from there on, it doesn't add any new information. So unnecessarily having it in your data set would increase the size of your data set and increase the time it takes for processing the data at no additional information that is gleaned. This is with respect to the duplicate rows. With respect to the duplicate columns, if you have a column called as say uh, experience and say you have another column called income, if these two are very strongly correlated, that means these two columns are more or less capturing the same kind of information. 
Hence, they both are capturing similar kind of information and they both have same kind of correlation. In this scenario also, having both which capture more or less the same information is not needed because it takes additional time to process those columns. So you can choose to have only one column rather than have both the columns. This is with respect to numeric columns. Then when it comes to columns, you can also have categorical columns. How do you decide whether you have categorical columns which are duplicates or not? For that, you have something called as value counts. For example, say you have a column called as gender, which has male and female, right? Somewhere else you have some other column uh, related to gender, uh, right? Or related to some other, uh, say for example, uh, education, graduate, postgraduate, etc. Right? Uh, if you convert that into uh, some other different format, say you do some kind of encoding on that data. Then if you feel that more or less the categories and values are uh, the same, then it warrants for some additional analysis to be performed on the data, right? So handling duplicates with respect to categorical data is not a walk in the park. It would take a lot of further analysis to be done, but with respect to continuous variables, it is pretty straightforward. You just look at the correlation of the two columns and then figure out you know, uh, whether there are any columns which are capturing similar kind of information and get rid of one. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Bernie. Thank you for that elaborate answer. And there's one small aspect audience that I picked up just now. Uh, Bernie and Sharad both have been, uh, uh, you know, using the same example from day one, which is Bernie is always talking about the uh, credit card fraudulent transactions and Sharath is talking about that. Why is it important? Because your interview is not going to be for four days. It is going to be for one, two hours maximum. So if you have picked up something, if you keep correlating all the related questions or all the questions to that particular project or that particular case study that you have picked up, 